So we have our model here, Carly, and we're just going to do a microblading and shading technique. So we're going to do a little bit of manual strokes with manual shading and a little bit of machine shading. So we're going to go ahead and start cleaning off her brows with an alcohol pad. always wipe off the middle section so that way you can swatch the pigment on her forehead. Okay. Now we're back to that. So we're going to take our caliper ruler with our brown pencil. Just color on there. I was get you before and after pictures. <laughs> Yeah, if you have not so you can get ready if you want to watch it again or whatever. So I'll just get like a good few. Don't record the whole thing because then you're not going to be focused on mm -hmm. watching the procedure. Okay, I'm going to send the video to <laughs> So get a good few pictures of each brow. So you'll have different angles, you know, you can promote different pictures, different angles. Okay. And we'll get a video too. Okay. Now back to mapping. So like we did yesterday, we're just going to find the center of her brows. So we're going to line the caliper ruler down the bridge of her nose. I'm going to turn her over here so I can see if it's balanced. It looks pretty good. I'm going to take our sticky ruler. And place the zero right on the middle line that we just drew. I'm going to brush her hair. Now we're going to find her A, her B, and her C. So she already told me she went her French strokes to be nice and wispy, so we're just going to bring them in a tiny bit. Because she already has nice full brows, naturally. Yeah. Once I get started. Now we're going to find her arch. So the easiest way to find their arch is to brush all the hair down. And there's always like a highest piece of hair sticking out. And her arch is at right at the five, actually. So whatever you do to one side, just do to the other. And now we got to find her C. So let me just brush all the hair. And I usually end the brows off where I can kind of see like where their last piece of hair is ending. And hers end at like the dotted line, the last dotted line of the C after the C. So once I have all my three points, I remove the sticky ruler. Okay. 
and I'm actually going to place our hair bonnet on. So I like to get our before pictures and do get our three points, and then I'll put her bonnet on. So I'm going to have you lift your head up for me. Thank you. Now it's time for the thread. So you want to just tear off a nice long piece. Take your brown pencil. Place, run through it. Now we're going to find where her brows balance and have you lift your head up a little bit. Thank you. So you want to make sure the head is literally straight up towards the ceiling so that way you can see everything. And you're going to find where her brows balance. So I'm lining it up with the bottom hairs of her brow. And I'm going to seesaw. So I have my line. I'm going to balance the top of the hairs. I'm going to stay as close to the hair as possible. Okay. And now we're going to balance out her arch. So she has a nice high peak. So we're just going to lay this right across. See so like so. Now we're going to do our crisscross. So from the bottom of the bottom of her brows to the top of the brows on each side. So from corner to corner. Okay. So now you have your X. So now you can see where the brows will start to form. So now we can start shaping. So I like to brush the hairs so I can find the flow of her brows. So from the bottom of this bottom corner, stretching the thread over to the arch line. So the B line pretty much. Creating the bottom line, creating the top of the brow, so stretching the A line over to the B, the top of the brow. Okay. Now from the B line down to the C to create the tail. I'm closing it off from the top of the B down to the top of the C. Okay. Now it's a great go over my shape with the white gel pen. Let's see. And stretch the skin. So you can get a nice, clean, crisp line. So I'm literally just sketching it through so I don't create a big bulky line. 
because your outline really determines how you the outcome of the microblading approach. So as you see everything, all her hairs fit right inside that line. So that's that. So I'm gonna grab my mirror and show her the shape so I can give her a feel so she can give me some feedback. Good. I like that. That's good. Yeah. So we're staying pretty natural. We don't mm -hmm. try to do too much. You know, we still keep it Very to how her brows kind of go. Okay. Love it. Perfect. So once you get there, okay, you go ahead and move on to the next brow. So drawing one sheet lessens the work for you because if they don't like the shape, you, do, you drew both. It's like you got to take it all off. <laughs> So you should draw one, show them if they don't like it, get some feedback of what they do like, and continue on. So the bottom of A, stretch it over to the bottom of B to create the bottom of the brow. The top of A over to the top of B. Bottom of C, I mean B, over to the bottom of C. Now the top of B down to the top of C to close up the tail. So now we take our right gel pen. I'm sketching it through because her hair is so thick up here. So you just want to make sure you get that white gel pen through her hairs. So I'm going back and checking this side. Making sure that grew symmetrical. So I like to take my micro swab Q-tip like I did yesterday, just to clean up a little bit if I need. So I'm gonna turn her head this way. And I'm just straightening up my white line.
So now it's time to find the color. So her brows are so full and thick, so. A little bit of trim them. What you doing? No, we don't trim yet. So we're going to leave everything how it is right now. So that way we're not removing anything we may need. So we don't groom the brows until the end of the procedure. Pretty much. Even though the brows are really full and thick, it could be a little difficult, but you still mm -hmm. want to keep, you know, because you may need all these hairs just to help it blend better. All right, so here's our preview. I'm going to get those combined. Okay. And this is black dye. So we're going to do a few swatches. So this is African King and Louis the 13th combined. So I'm going to do a swatch on her forehead. Mm, how many drops of each? Do you know how many drops? Um, two drops of African King and one drop of Louis the 13th. So this is two drops of African King and one drop of Louis the 13th. So that's actually really pretty. Next, we're going to swatch black diamond. Straight. Straight. No mixing. Okay. So allow that to sit for a few minutes because her undertone may do a little something. It may turn it green or gray or it may stay the same. I'm actually seeing a little bit more green mm -hmm. on this one. And then you can pull their hair back to see. This will give her more of a cool ashier effect. And then this will give her more of just a nice rich, you know, stays pretty much the same, true to color. Hmm. I would go with the African King and the Louis the 13th. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to show her. Here you go, Kyle. So we're leaning more towards the African King with Louis the 13th because it's staying nice and rich. This is kind of giving a little green yeah. attack. Yeah, mm -hmm. see? Like that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So she's okay with our selection. So now we're just going to wipe off her forehead and get started. <laughs> we're getting yeah. on the road. <laughs> That was just alcohol pad, just cleaning off her brows, her forehead. Okay. 